In this video, we have Chris Hughes from the Energy Conservatory. We have Adam, A-Team Adam, as he's known, a longtime contributor to HVAC School. He's written for us, and he helps me out with a lot of things. And special guest George talking about how to measure duct leakage to the outside quickly and easily. I think you're going to enjoy this. We got some work to do today. What are we going to do? Duct leakage to outside testing. Let's go work. Let's go to work. So we're at my brother's house in Louisiana. I dragged you over, both of you over, a whole what? Five, ten minutes down the five road? Five minutes, right. George suited up. He was ready to go. Uh, he's been excited to do some testing now for a while. He's ready to get paid. Am I right, George? Yeah. And this is kind of a rush job because they're out of the house for about an hour. Yep. Um, so, yeah. So I was in Minneapolis, what, four or five, six months ago uh, doing the training, the TEC training, uh, where we were learning about um, sensible heat ratio, a little, a little bit of everything, everything, yeah. yeah. Um, duct blaster blower door and I had a hard time initially wrapping my mind around uh, duct leakage to outside yeah duct leakage to outside is not the easiest one to explain um, and there's no script here so we're gonna try to ad-lib this whole conversation to try to figure if we see if we can explain it cleanly right here we may have to throw some annotations in this video to clean up some of this but let's give it a let's give it a shot Cool. So um, what we're going to do is we're setting up a blower door and a duct blaster, right? Um, we're going to set the blower door to run at negative 25 pascals. That's with reference to outside. Am I saying that correct? Correct. We want the whole house. We want the thermal envelope to be at negative 25 pascals in reference to outside. Okay. And at the same time, we masked off, masked off all of the, the registers and return grills in the house. And now we're gonna hook up a duct blaster and run that to run at, you know, zero pascals. Or negative 25 pascals in reference to outside as well. The reason we say cruise zero, you'll hear that a lot, is what we're meaning is we're cruising zero, meaning the duct blaster's matching the, um, from the input channel on channel A in reference to the second port on channel A, which is reading the house pressure, which, which is negative, which is negative 25, we want to get the duct system down to negative 25, which those pressures are then matching. That's cruising zero. So we could run a tube from the reference port to outside as well and make the duct blaster go to negative 25, which some people might think that's easier to understand, but it's a little bit more work. Right. I like easy. I like easy. And we're in a hurry, so. Yeah. Okay. The part that's a little tricky on this to understand is we're kind of creating an air barrier between, um, it's almost like putting a patch on a piece of pipe, right? We're neutralizing pressures. We're, we're neutralizing pressures. So imagine you had a house that you tested on a total duct leakage test and it was 200 CFM of leakage. That's a lot. You don't want to leave that like that. Um, so if we have a house that's got that kind of leakage, but what if two, um, three fourths of that is leaking inside the thermal boundary. And you only had 50 CFM of leakage to outside the thermal boundary. Would you chase leakage at that point? De I mean, it depends, like, you know, but uh, I think maybe yes, maybe no, depending on where you're at and if you're gonna pass code or not, right? Correct. So there is, there is a big push to make duct leakage to outside uh, a code test in some areas it may be a test some areas it's definitely not like here's definitely not um, we are barely kind of getting to duct leakage total duct leakage testing but it's a good test to know how much of your duct leakage is outside the thermal boundary that's what you're trying to prove because right. we don't want duct leakage at all but we definitely don't want duct leakage to leave outside the thermal envelope because yep. when we leak when we pay for condition air and it leaves a thermal envelope Every CFM that goes out brings one CFM in. It's a double whammy situation. You lose capacity and you increase load, and that's really bad. So duct leakage inside the thermal envelope could lead to comfort problems. Duct leakage to outside the thermal envelope is comfort problems followed by destruction. You know, mold, different things like that are gonna affect the house. So we're not talking about just a hot bedroom. We're talking about potentially hot bedrooms and wood getting wet, moldy, you know, bigger problems. Nothing good. Nothing good. You ready to go to work? 
Yep. Let's do this. Now we're going to turn on the blower door to get the house down to negative 25 pascals of pressure. So we're going to hit tubing assistance, building tightness, and depressurize inside the building. Model 3 fan, continue, and we hit play. Now we hit set baseline. Okay, now we hit enter. We got to change it to... 20, flow 25 CFM. So we're going to turn on the speed controller. And we're going to hit play. Now I'm going to send it over to my dad. Okay, so George has the blower door running at negative 25 pascals of pressure over there on the exterior door. Now I've already captured the baseline on this gauge, which is running my duck blaster here. But I went back to the beginning just to show you how to get through tubing assistant on this one. We'll go tubing assistant, uh, duct tightness, leakage to outside. We're gonna do depressurization. The gauge is inside the building. We're using the duct blaster B fan. We're gonna confirm our selections, right? Continue, and we've already set up our tubing where it goes, and we've masked off all our grills. We did that earlier. Now we hit play. Now I can set my cruise to zero Right, and you'll notice I have this pressure here on the left side of the screen. Right, remember I've captured my baseline earlier. You need to set the baseline when the blower door is setting its baseline here. So we've got a pressure here. What does that mean? That means that the duct system in this house is currently at not at negative 25 pascals of pressure. If we cruise zero, which is the same thing as negative 25 pressure in compared to outside, being our references in the home we would need to get this to zero to do that. So we're gonna cruise zero, turn on our speed controller. We've got it set for zero. We're gonna hit play. And now what that's gonna do is gonna ramp up the duct blaster to pull the duct system to negative 25 pascals of pressure to match the house pressure. So as that ramps, as you see the pressure's coming down on the left side of the screen, it's gonna get to zero. When it gets to zero, the CFM reading on the right side of the screen, that is the leakage that is outside the thermal boundary in this home currently. That is our duct leakage to outside, not our total duct leakage, which is about 60 CFM. All I want to know is who's buying lunch. What? <laughs> you think you've earned enough for lunch? <laughs> was it so bad, was it? Was that hard, George? Not at all. Okay. I think like watching it happen uh, makes it a lot more real and easier to understand for sure. Yeah, reading about it, um, I think conceptually, it's, um, it's a tough read. If you do it and you get through the workflow one good time, um, conceptually it starts to really make sense and it's easier to understand. But if you've just read it and you haven't tried it, I think it's a mountain to climb. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Well, I appreciate both you guys helping me out on this. Fist pump, George. We did that. Big thanks to Chris, George, and Adam for making this happen. Big thanks to the Energy Conservatory for being a great long-term partner of HVAC School. A lot of times people will see uh, different brands and they'll wonder, like, is it are they a sponsor? How does this all work? But the Energy Conservatory is just a company that I, I like what they do. I'm a big fan of Steve Rogers and Bill Graber over there, and then also Chris Hughes, absolutely great guy. They make great tools and, more importantly, great solutions for our industry. So big thanks to them, and thanks again to Chris, Adam, and George. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.